I reckon it's a real privilege to be working on New Zealand's largest ever um, roading project and we've assembled a huge team to deliver this project. Uh, and they're, they're a wonderful team, they're a, they're a team of, of committed, experienced and focused individuals. Without that team we just wouldn't have made the progress that we've made today. Uh, it's fantastic really. At the moment we're a quarter of our way through prop constructions. Over behind me you can see the concrete constructions that uh, basically support the walls of the excavation. The excavation will be 24 metres. This will be at a depth that will be able to receive the tunnel boring machine. The tunnel boring machine will come into the excavation through the soft pile wall. It will then be turned around and it will head back to the other end of the job. Starting on the northern end, the first piling operation has started. We've currently poured the foundation for the first pile. We've also spent a lot of time building embankments for the off-ramps and on-ramps. The staging is started at the northern end. will be used to construct the permanent piles off. Um, it'll also be accessed to get across Oakley Creek. Um, the stream has been designed to accommodate the normal flows a more naturalised stream sequence, so rather than an excavated drainage channel, um, as it has been for, for quite a long time, the design now replicates a, a naturalised stream in the Auckland environment, so it, it follows a, a run-ripple pool sequence. A riffle is a, an area of shallow depth with a lot of rocks near the surface to allow the water to aerate. The run is a normal stream flow section, and a pool generally occurs at the corners and the water slows down, creates a deep water environment. The stream is also designed so that the total stream width can greater accommodate uh, for flood flows. In terms of the community, uh, we're making sure that we are not cutting off access to the stream. In the past, it's been very difficult to access the water. The water was sitting in an incised channel. The design that we've implemented here means that we've got gentle batter slopes coming down to the water so that people will be able to access, get access to that water, see the bird life, the fish life, the insects using that, that environment that we've created. And that's a really positive outcome. My name's Mark Turner, I've been working on the Richardson Road Bridge, uh, which has been in construction since uh, June 2012. It's a 55 metre long bridge with uh, two spans of uh, Super T beams piled at either end, four central pier walls which uh, sit on a footing and that directly bears onto the hard sandstone below. So the big driver to get the bridge constructed was to get a haul route from the end of State Highway 20 all the way through to the SAT trench. Overall construction time was about seven months to get the bridge constructed and our big milestone was getting traffic back on over the bridge in February this year, uh, which we achieved. And it meant the Earthworks team could come in daylight either side and construct the access routes that we've got now. The whole SAT, which um it's a southern approach trench. We've moved about uh, 150,000 cubic metres of basalt and about 200,000 cubic metres of clay in East Coast Bay's formation. We've had up to about 300 guys at any one time and in this trench itself, probably around 100 or 150 um, when we had a lot of activities going on. So at the moment we're building a headwall. We're about four out of ten lifts up on the headwall uh, and we're building the trench for the backups. That's where all the supply and services element of the TBM sits. It's a big trough, looks like a skate park, um, and it's quite awkward to build. Uh, we're pouring walls single-sided, uh, where the formwork is uh, just not available in New Zealand, so we're having to make our own formwork. We've got boat forms that are just massive form pieces of formwork. Um, the tunnel is huge, the TBM is huge, and every other thing that goes with it is just huge. So it's that scale is a real challenge to us. One of the highlights is finally seeing our multinational team come together and um, really start delivering. We spent so long planning and designing and then to see, uh, see that out in the field, um, it's been brilliant.